and I punished him for it. Ah, uh, the wonderfulness of chess. Good. Uh, right, okay, let's see. Everybody is nearly loaded onto here. Oh no, I'm drawing walls everywhere now and I don't want to... No, I'm not loaded. It's 88%. Did you find a duck on this level yet? Mm. Don't think so. I mean, it's been what, two, three weeks? Uh, did we, we played last week, didn't we? Mm. Maybe we didn't, I don't know. No, we didn't, you were in Scotland. Oh, yes, that's it, yeah, yeah. Um, we well, just see your luck. I've loaded in the map yet. Oh, right. You miss out on it. Highlighting it and everything. Uh, okay. Um, previously, on Mummy's Mask, um, you had began your exploration of the Earth a Crypt. After some uh, mindless shenanigans with uh, foundry walls and all that jazz, we decided to run the level anyway. And there was some uh, interesting. Uh, uh, goings on, you found a, uh, a room with a lot of uh, hieroglyphs in and uh, a lot of this uh, nice red jelly that you guys uh, took a fancy to. Um, it was an interesting um, technique to get past it. You then made, made your way around and went into what you believe was some kind of temporal loop uh, where you seemed to go back in time to just about when the pyramid was created. Hakatep still alive and uh, you found yourself in this room with a particular individual um, and his barbed devils. But anyway, um, you went past him with no issues and into what you uh, believe was some kind of auditorium uh, where a number of uh, little guys were fighting some kind of golem. You dispatched that with ease. Uh, the guy on the, uh, the throne at the top of the, uh, the room then uh, sort of uh, brought in some other golems for you to fight. You fought those with ease. And, uh, yeah, he won, he threw down something on the floor, and as it clattered to the ground, everything went black. And as your eyes adjusted to the darkness, and as your lights began to flare into existence, you found yourself in a very aged auditorium, and um, you collected your fine piece of tat, I can't forget what it is, from uh, over by the throne somewhere, ready to head out of this level. <coughs> and hopefully, everybody will load in. Yeah, I'll load in now. Yeah. Cool I beans. See the duck yet? Is it the place oh. where you hid it in a torch? Uh, it's, in a it's not in a torch this time. He's here, look. Oh yeah, he was hiding behind the throne. That's true. Yeah. I'm, uh, some some levels I'm sneaky. Some levels I'm not. I'm doing the uh, what? Which um, which levels have you been in so far? You've been in the uh, the water one and water. the earth one. This one. That's all. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, somebody was listening to uh, a specific type of 70s music when they uh, started developing these. So uh, you can only assume that there's going to be a, a fire crypt at some point. That's going to be an interesting one. It's ducks all the way down. Play ducks everywhere. Yeah. Oh. Well, we'd love to move. Yeah, I bet you would. Uh, okay, let me uh, let me get the scene. 
Here we go. Uh, I should probably have loaded into thing as well. Anyway, I've, I've got my lad might turn up because I've got his phone now. Anyway. We established the um back in time thing. That was not an illusion. That was real, as we as best as we could understand real it. As best as you could understand it. Yeah, it's um Ricky. interesting, interesting mechanic. Let's uh, create a dashboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, stream manager. We are in. Not in Return of the Rune Lords. Uh, we are in on his mask. On his mask. Book six. Go. Fly, you fools. Um, right. Okay. Let us do this. So you go back through this and you find yourselves in this hieroglyphical room again. You can see that the, uh, the red uh, gloop... Uh, oh. Drawing walls. Uh, you can see that there is the drop that drops down uh, into the passageway below. This is still uh, available to you as an exit point. When you came back through this uh, this bottom room with the sarcophagus in, you could see that they are all painted. Um, perfectly. Their paint uh, uh, sitting slightly faded now, but still uh, rather uh, rather ornately. All, uh, yeah, ten sarcophagi. Roll me a perception check. Okay. In this area here, you can see obviously that uh, the passageway descends down, and as you get ready to drop down, you notice something that wasn't there previously. You know that the passageway goes off to the east, to where you believe the exit is, but there is a new branch that disappears off to the west. Five Wait, high. did you swap west and east on this map? What? We came from the west part. Yeah, but you're accessing to the east. Yeah, so you know that the passageway goes this way. Mm -hmm. But there is also one that goes this way as well. Okay, so this is a map where the cardinal directions are reversed, ish. So that, that's east, that's what you're telling me. Just say it left and right like normal people. Okay. The, the passageway perpendicular to the, uh, the rising of the sun uh, will always <laughs> be there because that's the one you came in with. But the one that goes diagonal from the copse of trees that grows across Galarian at a 92.4 degrees angle is now available to you. You're damn sure that that wasn't there before. So you're saying Which that isn't... if I go backwards, I go home, but if I go forward, there's no, there's no stone wall. He, exactly. He's saying Assyrian is, is past the equator, therefore when you look at the sun, you're quite facing the other way. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, if you had a frog in your pocket, 
<laughs> the frog would obviously tell you the right direction. But how many people it's have just... got frogs in your pockets? It just so happens. <laughs> it's you part of my river god, I carry around a spare frog. Just you for such eventualities. Funny. This is the one time we needed a summoner. Who could summon frogs? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Would you like to go along the new passageway, or do you want it to exit the chamber, the actual uh, crypt altogether? We want to try the new one. Admittedly, if you <laughs> decide you want to exit Agreed. the chamber altogether, then it's a pretty short session and we'll be done. <laughs> Let's go backwards. I would no, like yeah. moonwalking. Have, have we got any healing available? I'm running out of spell slots, and me and the cab are pretty wounded. Do you want to do that before going along the passageway? Uh, probably should. I'm, I'm only on like half health. And the cat is. Let me check what we have in. You're uh, a by. half elf. Badum -tsh. I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm not a. I'm not a half elf. Right, okay. I just, yeah. uh, we have a wand of cure light. With. Uh, does 27 hit the GM? Does 27 hit the GM? <laughs> Thanks. <Yes. laughs> oh. oh dear. What are we going to do here? Plug my phone in, actually. We have a wand of Cure Light with... Cure Light. Is anyone tracking the Wand of Cure Light on their own shit? I hope so. No, otherwise yeah. it means it's tracked on the... Um, on a character sheet somewhere. Uh, I haven't done it, so... Retired... Uh, was it on Egon's shit? No, so it was tracked there. Okay! Um, Tell me just how many heals you want to burn, and um, from the cure light, so the, the eight plus one. That was ten. Sure. Yep. Ten cure lights. <laughs> I mean, we we have sixty-seven left, so before your ten, so go ahead. Sixty-seven. Yeah. We had a, we bought a wand of cure light before coming to this place, and uh, we had thirteen left from before. Seventeen left, sorry. So all your ten d eight plus ten. Ten to four. Uh. That'll do for me for now, I guess. And the cat could probably use uh, five. Hold it. Oh. Okay. Maybe a bit more. Uh, another five. Another five it is. God damn it, what's wrong with my keyboard? Um, is it a connection between the seat and the keyboard? <laughs> yes, probably <laughs> that is the issue. Yeah. That is where 99% of the Something between from. the seat and the. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, close enough, that'll do. Yeah. Pick, pick okay. the error. That's, uh, that's the thing. Problem in chamber, and not in computer. A, a normal person would just summon some brillanings, but I'm, I'm, I took one for the team. I hope you appreciate it, guys. What levels are uh, brillanings? Uh, six, I think. Beef. <sighs> hmm. I did have you bunched up so I could transport you easily, but. Yeah, go ahead. Be ready. Using the majesty and magnificence of Foundry. 
<laughs> oh my god, that was wonderful. Well, the, the levels you see would have worked because I had a, I had a, the thing, but then Van broke it. Yeah, de sprawl yourselves. Sorry, Van, I'm blaming you for all kinds of things today. It's okay, I know it's your fault. <laughs> you know it's my fault. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, in this narrow place, I will put um, my cat back into his figurine. Witness to heal him, but there you go. Um, okay, six. Do, 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 do. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. you come up into this room and find yourself in this circular chamber as. Somebody's got an iron torch. Shamir? No, uh, we have a dancing light. You have a dancing light, okay. As your dancing lights come up into here and uh, begin to illuminate the room, uh, you can see that flower petals are painted around the edges of the hole that you've come up with. A narrow corridor exits off to the east or the west or perpendicular to the stars. The floor painting the floor radiates okay. a strong abjuration aura. It is painted in the design in, with blue lotus flowers. Let me add knowledge religious religion. Physical. There we go. Okay, you knowledgeable folks. You know that blue lotus flowers are not natural within a serene. But you would know that these are common along the river Sphinx in some areas. They're associated with an ancient Syrian, di uh, or Syrian deity, Isis, the goddess oh. of fertility, magic, and rebirth. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna keep an eye out. And stay sticky. Ooh, that's definitely not 20 constructs in this one. You need your uh, your ivory or whatever uh, rod? Yeah, I'd, uh, when we have the time I'll explain to you how insane that item is. I read it. It sounds insane. Okay, leaving the chamber with the strong abjuration aura. Uh, you make your way along into this second circular chamber. Painted on the floor of this is a stylized image of a recumbent lion. Dozens of miniature figurines stand atop a low platform that rings this room. The figurines are of varying manufacture. Some made out of glazed clay, some carved and painted wood. Others, made from wax with chips of metal and coloured stones wedged into their forms. Okay. 36 against straps. I'm looking for those, I mean. Um Okay. Mm. Didn't appear to be any traps. Mm. Roll a perception check, why not? 
as you make your way into this room. There's two things that you do notice. This painted lion on the floor appears to be holding a broken arrow in its jaw. And the a broken arrow, arrow? Yeah. And looking at this, you can see that it appears to point to a figurine from the easternmost side. Whether that's... And is there anything unusual about the figurine that it points to? Visually? There's a lot of these figurines around here. There look to be funerary figurines. These are known as Ushabitis, and they're very common in um, Osirian tombs, and it's likely that you've probably come across some of these before. There are 70 of them in this room. Each of them probably worth about 25 gold pieces. Okay, so 70 times 25, let me note that down. You. The one across the other side looks to be made of gl blue glazed clay, and it has a faint abjuration aura. Um. Um, does it hurt you to anything more specific? Not really. You think it might be some kind of proximity sensor kind of thing? It's difficult to discern exactly what the um, the purpose of this figurine is but you you get the impression that it's it's likely to be something that is how best to explain this It gives off this this aura, uh, pulses a little bit. I imagine that uh, Kura, you're unable to pick it up anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah, it. Um, right, on top. I was going to say that's <laughs> not helpful. <laughs> oh, mere jammed. It's worth. It's it's five point one pounds in weight. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> I would like to shoot an arrow that removes 0 0.01 pounds. Well, it's made out of clay, <laughs> so you're likely to demolish the entire thing. It's uh, fine, we'll grab all of that stuff when we're coming back. Uh, why is there a snake there? That's suspicious as fuck. Snakes like people too. Snakes like people too? No, snakes aren't people. What the fuck did I just hear? Um, <laughs> Why are you a hater, furry person? Seems very unhappy with snakes. Why are you unhappy with snakes? Oh, yeah. No, I like snakes. Just The abjuration was only coming from this side? That one single statue. We want to well, with it. Uh, I don't see any reason to touch it. It could be some kind of alarm. It could be some kind of anything. 
also, I'm just gonna say this, but there are abjuration spells which are just... It explodes in your face whenever you touch it, so... How about we uh, deal with that later? Leaf of whatever I think it was, yeah. Uh, explosive runes, yeah, for example, but yeah. Okay, what is... We do do? Do we do? What are we looking at? A simple hieroglyph of a rearing hooded cobra occupies the floor of this circular chamber. Is Shamia joining you or is she uh Cobra Kai? <laughs> I did wonder if anybody would notice. <laughs> I thought I recognized that particular <laughs> evil snake. Cobra Kai. Sweep the leg, Johnny. But, 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 just do it. Ah, that's a classic movie. So, so what you're saying is that the Cobra knows karate? Oh, yes. Uh, it's just a um, hieroglyph on the floor. Yeah, just for the sake of simplicity, I like the... Heavy thing to roll a fortitude save and probably break. What? It's a simple hieroglyph of a rearing cobra. I am breaking the hieroglyph. Oh, it right. succeeds on its fortitude save and says you need to roll a different The save. stone tile <laughs> floor. Let me just roll a fortitude save for it. Uh. Oh. I'll, I'll give it a. I'll give it a little plus. I'll give it a little cheeky plus eight. Oh, twenty-seven. Damn it. Damn it, that's, that's a really good roll. I'll well. do it again, I was just kidding. <laughs> okay, there you go. To prove to you that I got a 19 on my die. I trust you, it's fine. I don't, he's cheating. <laughs> I did 29 different things, rolls, before I got a 19. I mean, that was obvious, but still. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, if I don't see anything else in this room. Which is extremely suspicious, but... As you step into the room... Ah, oh, damn it. You hear an odd noise. Hissing? It is... Uh, similar to the, that of a hissing serpent. Mm. And, as with always, darts fire from hidden receptacles around the room towards you as you have triggered my trap card uh, this would be for everybody all targets uh, oh all right okay uh, that Is would be automatic a damage? 30 to hit Cool. Uh, everybody. Uh, there are... Uh, it says there are 24... An arsenal of 24 darts. So, I'm not going to roll 24 darts. We'll just deal. Misses. Fine. It's a hit. It? What's Shamir's flat-footed AC? Oh, flat-footed. Uh, no, that's a hit. Misses me. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. I don't know what flat-footed means, sorry. <laughs> you don't flat-footed. I, I just refuse the concept, that's it. Uh, well, sucks to be me then. <laughs> that's normal. Um, oh, right, okay. Okay, so if it hits, uh, you will take... All the damage. All the damage. Uh, three points of damage. Is that piercing? Uh, it will be if it's darts, yeah. That's not Okay, so I don't take damage. Yeah. Uh, but there is also uh, this other one, 1d... And one point of strength damage. 
If you take zero damage from it, do you still take the strength damage? Sure. Because I have the art fights piercing. Well, it still hits you. You just don't take that damage. But the other, the other effect is a poison effect. Uh, it is uh, a fortitude save, actually, before you give yourself your strength. Yeah, all right, uh, Kura will be the only one that fails on that. How much damage is that then? Uh, that's one point of strength. Actually, how many uh, saves is it? Thank you. Uh, so this is uh, this is Dragon Bile. Okay. Uh, so it is one point of strength over uh, once per round for six rounds. Uh, until I save, I guess. To. Okay. 32, probably yeah, enough. Yeah, that's enough. So you take an additional one point of strength. So yeah, two Ring points of, of strength. Ring of Fortitude says I take nothing. Poor word. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> using poison at level 50. Well, there we go. So nobody took any damage whatsoever. I took I, three I points of damage. I, I oh, took from sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah, yeah. To get damage as well. Well, there we go. If you want to give some damage, just Nearly use them like normal people. Nearly killed you. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, you make your way through that particular hazardous environment into the next area. It seems uh, right. Okay, an elaborate painting of a pharaoh figure standing against a solar disk covers the floor of this circular chamber. It radiates strong conjuration magic. If you wish to roll me a perception check, you can do. I'm looking at the golden circle on the floor. It's nice. It is rather pretty. The thing that you notice about it is not the golden disc or the pharaoh itself. But as you uh, look at the pharaoh's crown, you noticed that at a certain angle, the colours of the painting appear to reveal some hieroglyphs that have been subtly hidden there. It reads, Abase yourself, mortal. Mm. Abase yourself? Yes. Mortal. Mortal. Uh, can, can someone translate that to me in normal language, I guess? Show some respect, you asshole. Let me, uh, let me <laughs> convert that into Guatemalan for you. Um, I will say, who demands this of us? I, I'm just gonna say, Google Translate believes that this is Zulu language. Oh, so a boner. You speak it too. <laughs> um, um, if it uh, it translates from English to English quite well. <laughs> no one ever says so a boner back. No. Uh, let me just. Uh... You know what? I'm not interested in that. Um, I, I, I think they're saying we have to like humiliate ourselves, and I'd like to say no. So it seems like there's a big room at the end. Everyone touch the fox, and everyone we fuck off right to the next one. Like here. 
with... Okay, what could go wrong? This. No, we teleport through. We, 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 there's no, like, whatever that was supposed to... So what, what are you... Uh, right, you're, you're casting Dimension Door. Okay. Yeah, we, we fuck off right through that home. Like, it's, and, uh, I'm not interested in whatever. You... You are they trying to say we have to humiliate ourselves? Like, are, are they saying we have to, like, I don't know, pee ourselves? What the fuck? You move no, back it's into... Just, you should prostrate yourself. Oh. Yeah. Kura, oh, Kura moves back into the middle of the group and uh, communicates that they should all touch the fox. And everybody reaches down and uh, gives you a little pat on the, on the head as you uh, cast your spell, believing that you should move yourself further through the corridor, but you get the impression that it doesn't do anything. The magic fizzles and you will uh, lose your spell. Well, that's because it's a cantrip. We still yes, there's that the teleportation. <laughs> Teleport can <concept. laughs> That would be fun. Uh, Okay, we're saying frustrate, I guess. Let's call on the fucking floor. Just... Mm. Fuck. Wait, you're how crawling does, across? How, how does the fox a crawl? No, it, 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 it. Have you never seen a fox call or anything for that matter? Let me like just, uh, let me just go on to Google and uh, look that up. Crawl fox. Roll. Ah, fuck it, I rage and start walking forward. <laughs> Tell me if it stops me or something. Okay. <laughs> you it's teleport, teleport back teleportation. into this room here. And as you stand in the center of this room, it sets off Cobra Kai! Oh, so it doesn't have any will saves or anything? Nope. Uh, sure, hit me. I guess. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba. 25, which is less than the other one, so oh, yeah, no. whatever. Boom. Boom. Shake the room. Can anyone tell where the teleportation thing is coming from? Find out. I'm going to try going around the edge. What happens? You find yourself back in Cobra Kai land. Me, hey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Questioning the situation the other way. Does it look like a trap? Obviously. Would a 25 yeah. hit Katawe? Um, is this still on touch? Uh, well, flat footed. No, that's not it. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes, it was flat footed. Uh, yeah, just. Okay. Uh, that is going to be. That plus okay, so that is going to be four points of damage and a fortitude save. <coughs> okay. Uh, what were you saying about stuff? I, I was looking for a trap with a 34. With a 34 or a 44? 30, 30. Okay. 
you so can... the fox. I, I I crawled. It's yeah, and it worked just fine. Looks like it. Okay, then I. Okay, then I'll do the Did same. I die? Let's be done with this. And should be uh, crawling along the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is everything good? You make it across the room without any issues. Uh, Kura would be able to spot that there is indeed a magical trap. And you would be able to disable it uh, using with your 45 disabled skills. It's uh, minus 5, it's 40 because I'm doing it from range. If that matters. Okay. What was the spell that it was using, by the way? Yeah, let me just put my glasses back on. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a wild chase. Yeah. It's a circle which teleports. Hey. Oh. <laughs> this guy's uh, this guy knows his stuff. I also thought it was circle teleportation, but I'm fairly sure that allows you a will save. Not today. Doesn't say anything about a will save. Okay, you make your way into this large chamber at the end. This grand chamber is hazy with aromatic smoke that is pungent with incense. There are four fat columns covered with carved hieroglyphs that support the ceiling. Uh, at the center of this room, a single bull hieroglyph is painted on the floor in shimmering metallic gold. A large humanoid statues with the heads of long horned bulls stands in alcoves to the north and the south. A crystalline topaz pyramid stands in the western end of this chamber, pulsing with a bright amber glow. And... Where have I... That is that, that is that. Do that, do that. That. I'll sneakily walk around check place. Where's my perception? There's no scenario where those statues are not just constructs, right? Sorry? Th th these things, there's no way they're constructs, right? There's no way that they're constructs, comma. Right. Um, you don't believe that they're constructs as you mosey past them. You begin to get over... Right. You blast one with acid and, yeah, nothing happens. Okay. That proves it's a golem. Yeah. The golem smashes the uh, fox to bits with the... Uh, anyway. Suspicious stare. Near the pyramid, in all of this incense smoke, stands a figure of... What do you believe to be a woman? However, she it is very painful to look at her. 
every inch of her skin is horribly burned by an acid splash that was fired at a poor unsuspecting golem. She's covered. She's... What? Nicole. I was just going to say, she's covered in these, obviously, um, black, uh, supplicating scabs. She wears a broad skirt of rich red silk that drapes down to the floor, decorated with dozens of small gems and dizzying designs of, in the golden threads. There is an elaborate black wig in a classic Assyrian style that sits on her head, but it is all in stark contrast to the angry black and red of her burnt flesh. She smiles, her face cracking as she does so, her pearly white teeth shine out and she speaks in ancient Syriani. Please tell me that all my suffering was not in vain. Is that a physical creature or like a ghost creature? Can't see through it. Looks physical. Oh, uh, is she speaking ancient Assyriani? That's correct, yeah. What suffering do you speak of? I am a sworn priestess of Osiris, imprisoned here and tortured for a millennia by set worshipping sky pharaoh for the supposed heresy of my faith. I would like to figure out if she's telling the truth. Oh. get the impression that there's something not quite truthful about her. She addresses you again. Why are you here? Are you here to prevent the Sky Pharaoh's attempt at resurrection? Which is in opposition of the cosmic order decreed by Matt on Osiris. We are here to stop the Skyfire. There is a way. The pyramid here, she points to the blue pyramid behind her. You must destroy it. For if you do destroy it, then the way shall be opened and you will be able to get directly to the Sky Pharaoh. At this point, the box would look like absolutely Nothing has ever been more suspicious than this. And... Whatever. Let me all look at the check on this one. What are you trying to dispel? Anything she has. It's only one effect, but still. Okay. 
I suspect something is off. If she has nothing to hold, to, to hide, then I guess it won't be fine. And it won't do anything to her. If the effect on her body of the burnt thingy is a magical effect, then it will disappear. Okay. Um, right, okay, let me just do this. Uh, the magic around her shimmers for a moment as she, her appearance changes. She looks with hatred towards the fox. And I will require everybody to roll initiative. So... Did the Dispel do anything? Dispel some kind of disguise effect, apparently. Which I'm fine with. Shamir, from the back of the room. Would have first initiative. Um. Okay. Move action. Uh. Inspire courage. End of turn. Takes us to. Uh. Yeah. If I inspire courage, yeah, it's fine. Um, I will total defense. I want to see what she does. All right, Texas to Kura. Uh, what is? This humanoid, monstrous humanoid, what kind of knowledge? Um, planes, probably. Yeah, uh, knowledge planes. Knowledge planes. Uh, you would know this as a handmaiden devil. <laughs> um, that Come would be in. that plus that would mean that you get three questions. Um, spell resistance, immunities, then resistances, I guess. Okay. Uh, yes, spell resistance. Immunities okay. to fire and poison, resistances to acid, cold, electricity, and fire. Acid, cold, electricity, and fire. Well, she's not really fun. Uh, okay, I'm gonna ready an action if she starts attacking. Actually, fuck that. I'm gonna turn invisible. That's my first reaction, and then I'll ready an action. All right. That'll take us to Jack. Think from where you're stood that you can actually see her. Van? I was speaking alone apparently. What do you say, Bor? Sorry. I think she's uh, out of sight of you. I pass. You're not having a turn? No. Okay. She's 
she will five foot step. Uh, she will uh, cast a spell, and so what do we roll? Uh, this uh, is uh, black tentacles. These uh, things come up out of the ground, and begin to uh, uh, start to grab hold of you. I need to do uh, cast a level base type bonus for you plus four. You are strength. Action readied. Um. That's that. So it's. So what is it? Twenty plus cast level plus. On black tentacle. Tentacle is my fire attack of chain. When you turn the tentacles, the tentacles use your castle levels, your base attack bonus. Uh, it's castle level plus plus, uh, plus five. That's that simple. Yeah. What do you mean twenty plus caster level board? What? I'm just making things up for the goal. <laughs> right. Okay. Do you want to grapple God? Is that what you're trying to achieve here? I did. I do. Uh, right, okay. So that will be a uh, 19. Yeah. Mm. I don't think the fox fails that either. Okay, Shamir. Okay. Uh, do I have Inspire Courage? Do I have no uh, movement? Apparently, I don't. It's weird. Uh, yeah, whatever. Spells. Where is it? In the moment. You have a ring of freedom at the moment. I move 30 feet, I use aura of heroism, and end of turn. Okay, takes us to Kitawe. Um. So I'm just reading something. Base speed or swim speed, okay. Uh, okay. Oh no, I still couldn't do it. Is that a free action? It is a free action. Okay, I'll use um, my river domain ability current flow to move a little bit faster. Five, wait. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. So that uses forty foot of. No, that's five, ten. Five, Thirty movement. Uh, I'll move there. You doing any, anything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, I was here or here? I'm, I'm getting confused already. You are in line with me. So that's. 10, so there. 
Okay. Okay. No, that's all my movement. I can't get any closer. Um, I could cast, but is there any point? Read last spells too. No, I'll I'll stay put there. All right. That'll take us to Kura. Hmm. Not happy with her at all. Uh, I'll sneak by. That will break invisibility because I won't keep it up. Uh, and I will offer um, an acid splash if only to trigger the. Actually, you know what? Let's get hungry. Let's get angry. I'm moving 30 feet. That's free. Bada bing bada bonk. Oh, that might actually hurt even more than I thought. Well, the first attack is uh, on flat footed. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, will a 45, 55, 65 ball rusher? I think it might do. Might. Then I'll take a reflex save from her. Yeah. This is something, I guess. Okay. Uh, if she fails, she is stripped and falls prone. Uh, and the no DC... Is... Uh, DC 25, sorry. Okay, she beats that without any issues. Okay. Uh, when she doesn't fall prone, however, she's definitely barraged against this wall here. Okay. Uh, do I want to quicken something? Does she have any weapon out? Uh, no. Hmm. Then that's my turn. Right, okay. Uh, that'll take us to Jack then. Sure. I haste, move here, if she casts any spell, I slash her throat, that's my turn. Alright. Well, she's not going to cast a spell, but she's going to full attack. Sure. Uh, is it 32 hit? Yeah, just hit. Whew. Wait, misses. Never mind, screw you. I forgot I just got haste, which is 33. Okay. The uh, second attack will hit for 5 points of damage, so no points of damage. And that will miss. Uh, 2 points of damage. Uh, the second claw attack will hit for 12 points of damage, so. Pff, whatever. That's all bludgeoning, by the way. Okay. Uh, she will... Uh, can't really do anything uh, meaningful. Uh, she will five foot step. Show me you. Um, I think that looks like a charge. It's the closest. Uh, power attack, no one tar blessing, charge, weapon focus, single attack. Okay, 35 will hit for 30 points of slashing damage. Okay. 
Alright, okay. That takes us to Katawe. I'm gonna fly for step. Uh, swift action. Oh, well, I, I haven't done a knowledge. Is it planes? Uh, yes. Actually, I'm not good at that. Did a Kura? I didn't say anything, information? so I'll do that on my Fine. Um, do my regular thing then. Although you should be able to roll a knowledge check, you know. You are an Inquisitor after all. Uh, he's, right. a he's a Schmanner. He's a Schmanner. He's a... He's a hunter here. Okay, that'll take us to Kura. Uh, well, it seems like a done fight already. Okay, um, I'll step forward. I mean, yeah, when the target is like, uh, <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> yeah, to... yeah. Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna help you with that. Um, where is this? Am I gonna map blind? Okay, I'm gonna cast a spell. Uh, you are seriously encouraged to fail the will save on purpose. But you can decide to do whatever you want. I don't know what that is. I know you don't know. I'll roll a d20. High or low? Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> Low is rolling a d20. Alright. Yep. He, he wants to see. He, he wanted to roll if he was gonna try to resist it. Sure. Um, okay. What is it? Uh, you're affected by Hermian potential, which means that your next. Uh, uh, so, I the level that I have, so. Uh, your also... next four attacks, Hermian potential. Uh, I can ping it for you. Basically, you get advantage on your next four Attacks, skills, oh, uh, saving throws, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I know it, I just didn't know that it affects uh, attacks as well. So now you can type 2d20, keep highest on the dice, and that's probably gonna hurt a bit. Okay, so. I start swinging. Is that just on the attacks? It can use it on the next four attacks. On the next four d20s, basically. It is gonna roll. So my next d next 20s are gonna be doubled. So if he gets a crit... It's a crit. So you can uh... potentially use... Right, okay. I understand. Uh, Jack, yeah. Over to you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, check. I'll reroll. You could have just typed this. It's fine. I, guess. I don't do that. We don't do that here. What the fuck? Well, the first one is a 19, which is a crit, and the second one is also a crit. You did it in the worst possible way. I rolled four d20s. Below. You could have done that. So I need to roll again to, to. You, see you, if could, you could have done just like that. Two D twenty. That's the one that crits, and I need one more. Two D twenty keeps highest. That's that simple. Did you do it with Holly? No, I didn't do it with Holly. Fine, I'll do it myself. Like on the first line, you type two D twenty kh, and then you roll normally. It's that simple. How do I say that it automatically creates? Well, that'll do it all itself. Yeah. So once once the first, if it creates on the first one, then obviously that's going to use two of your four. Right? Yeah. And then we'll have to. Yeah, the, the 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 first two attacks are crits. How do I say that they crit? Just delete that one and just roll it again. Yeah. Fine. Like I sent you what you have to write, and you're good to go with that. Jesus. Fuck. 
It's not simple, mate. I'm giving you help. <laughs> there you go. You should have taken the two normal crits. Now you have three. No, well, no, we don't have three. So yeah, the, first the first one, one mate. The first one is a, is a crit. The second one, you got the highest. That will be a crit, but. Minus 8, 23 probably won't confirm. Nope. The last one will definitely come. Oh, wait, no. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yeah, he rolled 13, so it's. So the first attack is 34 to confirm. The second one is a 30. And then it's uh, 23 to confirm. No, it's 31 to confirm. Because that was the first roll. And then, on the hasted attack, it's 45 to hit, and well, 47 plus three to all. It's plus 3 on all. Because Aura of Heroism, I think it was? Oh. Uh, it's, it's on automatically. I don't if have it. It. Um, it, did, it didn't automatically work. Because he didn't activate it? Didn't he say he's activated it? Remember. I could swear, I could, but it's fine, it's fine. So whatever Matthew said to that, I guess. Right, so the third attack would crit, but doesn't confirm? Uh, 30, third attack is a 31 to confirm. Okay. And it's the last one, which is a 47 to confirm. You know what? Uh, Okay, there we go. <laughs> Whatever. Have some XP. Uh, ah, we yes. We don't do XP, do we? I guess she had less than 200 HP left. I mean, you did just hit her for 300. The, the 31 didn't confirm. Oh. So only 250. <laughs> Need to try harder. Well, no, it wasn't. It was 102 on the first one. Yeah. 50 on Didn't the third one. And yeah. 100 and on the fourth one. on the second one. So 250. Yeah. Okay, let's see what uh, this does. Because it has the same uh, weird mechanic uh, as the last one. Um, With, uh... Looking over this control pyramid, you can see that all of the hieroglyphs on here are Earth-related ones. And... Again, you're able to find this extra extra uh, symbol that you're able to. You do notice something different about this one, in that there is an option on these shifting and moving uh, hieroglyphs that drift across here. You think that it should shut down some of the other flying pyramids? Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Um, what's the... Is there actually? Uh, because if I remember correctly, on the previous small pyramid like that, there were like orders written on whatever. Um, which we use to make the pyramids back away. Does this one has the same uh, like wall of text order, whatever it is? There doesn't appear to be any wall of such. No, I mean on, on the on the specific pyramid, like l the last one that we the only other one actually that we saw had like orders written on it and we wrote some new ones on top. Does this one have the same feature? 
Um, uh, y yes and yes, it does, yes. You said no. <laughs> then I'll just try to lie my way into making new orders to like tell everyone to just step out. Stay back, something like that. I uh, need a bluff check, which you've passed. Okay. What are you telling the pyramids? Um, don't stay above the, the cities. Uh, they have ground to air missiles. Something like that. that sounds what? <laughs> they have ground to air missiles. I'm not sure exactly if the specific English word for it, but you get what I'm saying. Okay. They have anti-aircraft -air guns. Yeah. Anti-air batteries, that's it. Anti-air anti okay. golems. Exactly. Sure. Why not? And then we'll do the shifty thing to try and... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, make it seem legit. And then we'll do the shifty thing to try to... Well, to do the opening the thing and then the... De and then... Yeah, if, uh, how does that work to try to deactivate the pyramids at all? Um, that is a very good question. You... Where is it gone? It is there. Yeah, it's on CR. Uh, basically on CR, it's called apparently. Yeah, the control pyramid. Uh, you, you, there is an option to deactivate uh, the power link. That's what it says. The four flying pyramids sent uh, to somewhere Ipek uh, plummet into the Crook River or into its banks. That's fine. We can work with that as well, I suppose. At least we'll know where it falls. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You must first assess control of the pyramids. You will need a use magic device or by casting a spell or a spell ability with the descriptor aligned to the elemental crypt which the pyramid or touching the pyramid. So you need to cast a um, a spell, spell with the earth elemental descriptor, or uh, there is a use magic device check that is required. Um, I'm gonna go with the use magic device because why not? You suck. Uh, okay, and I rolled a four, yeah, right. As the tree would fall in the woods, nobody's around to hear the pyramids fall out of the sky. So if nobody heard it, did it fall? That's a very good question. Um, okay. Uh, this lady, let's have a look, she had all exciting in her pockets. Uh, she has two portions of Cure Sirius. She has Useful. a portion of Undetectable Alignment. Uh, she has a headband of Alluring Charisma plus six. Major Ring of Electricity Resistance. And a Bejeweled Skirt worth 8,000 gold pieces. Eight thousand. Yeah, it's a lot of money for a skirt. Well, <laughs> it's a high quality one. It is. 
Yeah, differently. It hides her tentacled lower half, I guess. So the uh, the little uh, the little statue bypasses the cobra pra trap. <laughs> Wait, what? The little statue <laughs> okay, bypasses that makes sense. the cobra trap. Yeah, because it's a violation law, so it then yeah, drops it the top. Yay, we're idiots for. It's fine. It's not like it's not like disrupted anything, though. Yeah. I mean, besides taking like two damage from the cat. No, I didn't take it. All right, because you're cheating. I forget. Yeah, I'm cheating with the ring that I paid for. That's what I said. Did I? I have I have jar five blood joining, so it doesn't do shit to me. It doesn't matter. You still fail if you fail at fortitude. Okay, so we used it to open the thing, disable the thing, that sounds fine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see the universe, oh my god. It's so glorious outside the map, I want to be there as well. Okay, you can go there now. We. So this room is an interesting one, in that you did nothing with it. <laughs> I mean, you, you said it had an abjuration aura of sorts? That's correct, an abjuration aura. Nobody, nobody checked anything about it. I don't other know than the, uh, Other than the, um, the knowledge religion to identify the flowers. Okay. I mean, abjuration aura usually means don't stay there. Oh, so okay. we didn't stay there. Okay. So this one, right. uh, this one actually, any creature that spends 15 minutes in this chamber is healed of all its afflictions and conditions. As per the Wait, heal. Please? Healed? Please heal me! I have one negative level! <laughs> Wait. As, the heal spell, spell. as the heal spell, but no damage is cured. Oh, as the And heal can spell. attempt to uh, additional save against any curse, disease, or poison currently in effect. Abjuration. And it I healed? I don't remember. Was the level drain a poison thing? I don't think so. No, 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 no. Uh, heal doesn't do anything about level drain. But as you said, abjuration. Off we go. That's... Why would an aura, a place that does heal. Con... What the fuck? It should be conjuration, not abjuration. He's cheating. Hey, that's what it says. I don't know, I, I have no issue with that, I'm just saying, sometimes by the writers out there. That's yeah. Yeah, that's it. And uh, this particular room had a wonderful set of scarab beetles, which swarmed out if you uh, had uh, not said the right thing. In there, so, so that would have been kind of fun. Those are robots, <laughs> not scarabitals. Well, I figured Loco might, you know, appreciate the uh, the Necron uh, Warhammer 40k thing. I fucking hate Necrons, they're busted as fuck. Please nerf them, GW. Well, that's that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> I'm glad uh, we didn't fight them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. actually, they're the, they're, the, they're the strongest army at the moment. Strongest army at the moment. They've always been pretty strong. Anyway, I am going to say that we are Yo, looking hey, forward yeah. to the next thrilling adventure of Mummy's Mask, where we head into the next crypt, which is the fire crypt. So we'll tune in next week and uh, make a start on that one. Sure. Uh, just give me just a second before you cut Andre. The portrait. Are we going to take a rest or? Uh, I, can, uh, I can cast resist energy fire on everyone. We should be fine. Uh, to be fair, we... Actually, like I don't. Are, are we using a lot of resources because those fights aren't like very I'm not difficult. Like 
I'm, I'm, I'm fine with continuing like that. I don't need to rest. I still have a lot of spells. Uh, How many charges of Inspire Courage do I have? Uh, da, 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 feature well, Lord. I'm gonna yeah. go to sleep since I'm tired. I still have yeah, well, everyone sounds tired tonight. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for running this one. No worries. Yeah. Have a good week. Uh, we'll see you yeah. uh, yeah. next yeah. time for some more moments. Uh, 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 next time. Right there. Yeah.